hey what's up guys welcome back to another video on trade now and for this video i'll be showing you guys the best five minute scalping strategy that you can ever find out there for crypto and forex and this is very good for people who are interested in scalping or day trading so anyways before we start this video can you guys help me out and just hit the like button really helps me a lot and yeah so let's get right into this video so for this video we have three indicators that we'll be using first up will be your trend trader strategy so search trend trader you see this trend trader strategy indicator for this what you want to change is just remove the bar color and change the trend trader strategy from blue to white next up you'll be using your stochastic rsi you will not be needing to change anything and your third thing will be your super trend and for this you can be using the first one and you're going to be using two of it so the first one you're going to leave everything as default but just remove the buy signals and highlighter or you can actually keep the highlighter but remove the buy signals same thing for the second one but instead of ATR period being 10 you're going to make it 11 and ATR multiplier being 2 so as you can see we have our indicator set up so let me tell you guys the rules for the positions so for you to enter a long position first up price must be above the trend trader strategy indicator so you see this white line so in order for you to take a long position the candles must be above the white line same thing for the super trend in order for you to take a long position you want the price to be above both the super trend lines so right here you can see that we have a the indicator for this where you can see that both the price is above both the trend trader strategy and the super trend so that's a valid for a long position so for you to have the signal for you to go long you have to wait for a crossover of the blue stochastic rsi line above the orange line and the crossover must happen below the 20 line so right here you can see here we have a crossover of the blue line above the orange line and the crossover happens below this 20 line so we're going to enter a position where the crossover happened and that will be on this candle right here okay. so we enter there for this our stop loss will be where the second super trend line is so right here and we'll take a 1.5 is to 1 and that is a valid position so you can see that price is in the uptrend right now you know that price is above both the trend trader strategy and super trend so we always want to wait for a crossover below the 20 line so here we have it right here you see that the blue line crosses over the orange line and the crossover happens exactly where the 20 line is so we'll enter a position where the crossover happens stop loss will be at the second super trend line same thing we'll take a 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio and there we have it so right here another valid position so we enter right here and stop loss you can see that the crossover happens below the 20 line stop loss will be below at the second super trend line and we take a 1.5 is to 1 so valid position so right here this will be our first loss where you can see that we have a crossover and price is above both the two super trend lines and the trend trader strategy so this is a valid signal but unfortunately this is a loss as you guys can see but let me just set it up you can see that there will definitely be losses but it's important for you to filter out the bad trades and yeah so that is your rules for your long positions so for you to enter short position trade you want to firstly you have to have the price being below the trend trader strategy and the price must be also below both the two super trend lines so like right here we have a signal for us to go short because the crossover happens of the blue line below the orange line and the crossover happens above the 80 line but however if we notice at this point where the crossover happens the two super trend lines are not above there is only one super trend line above so that's not a valid position but however right here we have a valid position you can see that there is a crossover and the crossover happens exactly at the 80 line so that is a valid position and if we look at the price action you can see that price is below the two super trend lines and price is also below the trend trader strategy so right here this is a valid position to go short on this candle where the crossover happens 
Stop burst will be at the second super trend line and we'll take a 1.5 is the one. And we'll be exited on this trade right here. So that is a winning position. So let me show you guys another short position. So here would be another short position where you can see that we have the crossover of the blue below the orange and the crossover happens above the 80. The price is below both super trend lines and the trend trader strategy. So valid position to short right here on this candle. Stop loss will be at the second super trend line and we'll take a 1.5 is the one. So right here will be exited and this will be another win so let me back test this and let me show you guys the top process when i'm taking trades and what type of trades to avoid and this is very important if you guys are thinking of using this strategy because i'm going to show you guys what are the type of trades that you want to avoid especially in Venji markets and what are the types of trades that will have the highest win rate because definitely blindly following the strategy is not what you should do and you must also add your market intuition when trading this strategy so now we're going to look at the trades and let's see how it plays you can see that right now there's two super trend lines one is above one is below so you know that we're clearly in the range and the price is bouncing in this area you can see that when price goes up down up down is this type of markets that we want to avoid because there's no clear direction where we are heading so what we are wait is for a break above and here we have the breakout we just want to wait for a breakout above and here we have a break above and below so you can see here we have the crossover but and price is below both the super trend lines but you can see that there's no really distinct crossover it's kind of still touching but there's no really crossover what you want to look for a crossover is a clear crossover here and the direction down but here we only have the touching of the lines but there's no direction down so you do not really know whether it's going to go down so even though price is below both the lines and kind of touches this is the type of trades i will not take i'm going to wait for a clear direction down and here we have it you can see that we have the crossover above the 80 line and you can see that the lines are heading down so we are enter position there stop loss will be at the second trend line and we'll take a 1.5 is to 1 and unfortunately we'll be stopped out here but it is a valid position that I'll take and as you can see from where I took it there is a move down so let's say it moves down by this percentage maybe about half maybe it moved down about your stop loss size which is 1.3% so whenever it moves down you probably should move your stop to break even so this should be a break even trade even if it's not valid but if we zoom back on here we will head on immediately to the next trade so you can see that there is a move up Price is above both the trend trader strategy and the super trend line. And here we have a clear distinct move up. So we we'll enter a position. So you can see that price is above both the super trend line and the trend trader strategy. And we have a crossover of the stochastic RSI below the 20 line. So we we'll enter a position there. And we'll say 1.5 is to 1. So let's see how it goes. And here we have a win. So even though we have a 50% win rate right now, since it's a 1.5 is to 1, let's say I'm risking uh, 2% on this, I'll lose 2% here and here I'll gain 3%. So we still have a net gain 1%. So, so yeah, anyways, if you guys, as long as you maintain a 50% strategy uh, win rate, you'll still be profitable and make sure you avoid trades like this and avoid the rangy markets, which you can tell based on the strategy. But with the trend lines and the super trend line, it is easy to just filter out which are the trendy markets and which are the markets that are ranging. So do not worry, even if you just blindly follow the strategy, you'll still be profitable. But anyways, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys are able to learn a lot and use these indicators for your own trading strategy. Make sure to hit that like button and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys and goodbye.